Alyssa, welcome back to Out There as we continue our coverage of this year's Academy Awards. Okay, here it is. This is the book that has been guiding us all night long, where Out There has made its predictions, its calculations, its algorithms over the last year to pick the winners of this year's Oscars. Okay, the prediction that we made for Best Director is Jane Campion for Power of the Dog. Are we correct? <laughs> All right. <laughs> and you know what? I am so thrilled that we got this one right because this is the second year in a row that women have dominated this category. Congratulations, Jane Campion, for winning for Best Director for Power of the Dog. Now, this movie is very powerful. It takes place in Montana, ranch, period piece and i really connected with this movie when i was doing a bit of a road trip all across ontario and i actually came across this really cool brewery it's called the black donnelly's brewery company and they're in mitchell ontario now it's not just a beer this is a story now they have exceptional craft beer and it's named after one of the most famous families from canada's early frontier the black donnelly's so uh, I tried this beer and it was really, really good. I tried the Roman line lager and then I also tried the dark horse, which was this traditional, you know, dark ale. But I connected, I mean, I guess you guys can guess what I connected to, huh? The blonde ale, yes, the honey blonde ale. I mean, this is so tasty, I loved it. I mean, blondes do have more fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's crisp, it's light. <laughs> now, I lied, I actually already opened it. <laughs> All right, so uh, they filter. All, all of it, and it's, it's actually, this is low in alcohol content, and what I like about it is, is that all of their beer is spring-fed water. That's how they make it, and this particular beer, the Honey Blonde Ale, they use 30 pounds of local honey goes into every batch because they also respect the bee, right? So there's a story behind it all. Anyway, love this beer. Check it out. Black Donnelly's Brewery Company, Mitchell, Ontario. Go on site, pick up their beer. In the meantime, let's talk a bit about one of the most exceptional movies this year, Power of the Dog and the woman behind this film, director Jane Campion. Now, the movie is about this very charismatic rancher, you know, uh, puts a little bit of fear but awe in those around him. And it's played by the very talented Benedict Cumberbatch. And I caught up with him as he talked about collaborating with the winning director, Jane Campion. Here's a look. It's sort of a lonesome place out here, Pete. Unless you get in the swing of things. The demand on you to portray that character just gives you a holding space for that to exist. I went to Dude Camp in Montana, which was a, a very immersive experience for me in the landscape and the, the place in Montana, but also the work and the reality of being on a ranch and with those people. And uh, something that offers a great deal of refuge and security for my character. It's something he understands. He brings the outside in rather than feels abandoned to the alienating aspects of that scale and weather. He professes to be pretty good at commanding that. And I think, you know, he also is able to expose himself psychologically and physically within the privacy that it affords him at times, which is very key to understanding and unlocking the sort of more profound layering work that goes on with method acting or whatever you want to call it. As far as your artistry, I think every, every one of them hopefully should be a progression. And I think with someone like Jane, who's so invested in your artistry and your, and your process and how to facilitate and augment that, She's a great friend, but she's a, the most phenomenal artist. And what she surrounded each of these performances in makes it an absolute joy to watch it. And it's very rare that you watch your own work and go, oh, that's exactly what I intended. But she was so close to me and Phil that that is what I intended. And that's, a, that's a rare outcome. Um, not always for the better or worse, but it's, it's, it's so rare to be that in tandem with the vision of a director and what she wanted to bring out this incredible story. <laughs> The Power of the Dog, incredible movie. Congratulations, Jane Campion. Uh, it was so great to see her win this award. Okay, so uh, 
I'm a little familiar with Ranch Life. Uh, Director Adam Powell, are you there? I'd like you to join me here because uh, I think you will agree that, you know, I've been there, done that, right? Are you having a little bit of a, a Black Donnelly beer over there? Are you done? What? Yet? What now? What? 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 <laughs> oh. Ah. No, I'm kidding. No, it is delicious because I do like me the blondes. I've been on their show for 14 years and I got married to one. So, yes, there you go. <laughs> blondes are more fun. And yeah, we yes. actually, I was going through old footage and uh, <laughs> I think, so I think this, no, it's, it's you uh, being a, a, a hand on a ranch. Let's see if you oh. remember this day. Oh, that is gross. Excuse me, Can, uh, there's some, so, something. So actress Carmen Electra was discovered way back when she was part of a rap group and musical artist Prince signed her on to his record label. Well, since then she's turned into a mega celebrity superstar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And now you can use one of these. <laughs> like Chris. And it gets the smell of cow out your face. <laughs> and and goat, goat, goat saliva out of my hair. <laughs> okay, Melissa, right. let's let's wrap this one. All right, all right. Cheers. Uh, check it out. Check out the movie Power of the Dog. Congratulations to Jane Campion, and of course, try this beer. I'll see you guys out there. Coming up, some more Oscar coverage. Do not go away. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media at Melissa DeMarco for more exclusive content with your favorite celebs. I'll see you guys out there.